हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीज लेक्चर आई एम जुई भट्टाचार्य एंड टुडे दिस विल बी दिस वीडियो विल बी द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट आई पोस्टेड ऑन द लास्ट वेनेसडे दैट इज अबाउट द पीकॉक the very particular poem the peacock is the very first poem i discussed in my last video which is belonging to cbsc board class 11 syllabus so i described over there the very summary of peacock in a precise way a line by line explanation is over there till now if you haven't seen the video if you haven't gone through the video then definitely go back and check my last video where there is the precise description or analysis or explanation of each and every line of the poem the peacock okay so the peacock the poem is written by sujata vat and this poem is a simple yet a wonderful poem or you can say that there is a metaphoric you know message or a metaphoric meaning which is implied in this particular poem so when you will go through the poem uh, probably uh, what is hidden the hidden message will not come out in front of you but if you go through the poem for several times you will definitely be able to understand what the poet sujata vat very meaningfully and very clearly intends to make the readers understand okay so uh, today what will i do i will today discuss about a few questions which are very probable or which used to come in the examinations of class 11 so about all those questions today we will discuss in this particular video hmm? first right at the very beginning i want to discuss with you about the theme of the poem the theme of the poem is a very uh, analysis is a very deep analysis of this poem actually uh, about that i just want to discuss in the very right at the very beginning of the video as this discussion will help you to remember uh, the very core thing of this poem once again so the peacock we all know that peacock is india's national bird and we are very much proud of a peacock's existence and we all know that the male peacocks do have such wonderful beauty of tail female female peacocks do not have okay female peacocks do not have that particular physical feature that a male peacock has okay that spread it tail that wonderfully colorful and uh, you know fabulous fantabulous tail a peacock a male peacock does have okay so the peacock this particular poem is starting with his bodily feature here you can see the poet sujata vat has used personification personification is what personification is that through uh, there is to be a few pro, you know um, pronouns through which the poets or you can say the writers personify someone or something that is not a human being okay like a peacock peacock is an animal peacock is not at all a human being in order to notify any animal most of the times so we do use it 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 but why she has used over here his because here sujata vat intends to personify the very existence of the peacock that is why she has used over here his first of all the first reason and the second reason is that the peacock or the wonderfully beautiful uh, peacock used to be male peacocks that is why uh, you know here the poet has used his so his loud sharp call seems to come from nowhere so i will not discuss each and every line over here i have just you know read this poem and let me read the poem once again his loud sharp call seems to come from nowhere then a flash of turquoise in the peepal tree the slender neck arched away from you as he descends and as he darts away a glimpse of the very end of his tail I was told that you have to sit in the veranda and read a book preferably one of your favorites with great concentration the moment you begin to live inside the book a blue shadow will fall over you the wind will change direction the steady hum of bees in the bushes nearby will stop the cat will awaken and stretch something has broken your attention and if you look up in time you might see the peacock turning away as he gathers his tail to shut those dark glowing eyes violent fringed with golden 
amber. It is the tail that has to blink for eyes that are always open. Okay, so here you can see this particular poem is all about the peacock which is our national bird, which is the very pride of India. Peacock is actually an embodiment of divinity, power, strength and beauty. Whereas you can see the differences in between a peacock's bodily features. Like a peacock's voice is very harsh, very rough to hear. Whereas a peacock's demeanor, body language is wonderful. Is wonderful. A person can be just dumbstruck after looking at a peacock hmm? now whenever you find a peacock's harsh voice you will be able probably will be able to identify but you will be unable to see him properly because peacocks used to be over there within the forests deep forests and the very color of a peacock's body has a wonderful similarity with the leaves okay of the trees present throughout the entire forest that is why People used to be very much unable to identify peacocks, you know, properly. Okay. And if he comes all of a sudden and understands or makes out the very fact that someone is noticing him, then definitely he doesn't wait. He just wants to run away. He just wants to descend. Okay. That you will have just a glimpse of his body. You will have just a glimpse of his tail. You can just see that the, the peacock. That's like Mayur Jatche in Bengali. Hmm? Look, 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 a peacock. Just like that. A peacock will never ever come in front of you and spread his tail even in the monsoon on the road. Hmm? If you are over there in a zoo, you can see. But otherwise, there is a very less chance to see a peacock, you know, moving here and there with great freedom and coming in front of you with his wonderful bodily features. Okay. He has slender neck. Okay, he has a very thin neck, wonderful neck that can be arched away here and there in order to see, in order to behold who are over there around him. Okay, now here the poet was instructed or the poet was told to sit in the veranda and to be attached or to be engaged in reading one of her favorite books. Why so? Because whenever you are reading or whenever you are engaging yourself in reading and if the very book is your favorite book, then definitely there will appear a very, you know, a wonderful silence. And that particular silence can bring uh, extreme concentration within you. Okay. You will be concentrated. You will accumulate all your concentration in reading. That time you will be engaged. And at that particular time, even the very sound of your breathing can be heard. Understood? That, you know... Uh, you can even hear the very sound of your heartbeat at that particular moment. Because at that particular moment, all the cacophony, all the chaos, all the sounds around you used to be all stopped and paused. And during that silence only, a peacock comes. During that silence only, an animal feels free to be present in front of you. Because we all know that forest is the world of animals. Just like the society is the very world, is the very place where human beings live. Just like that, forest is the very society for animals. It is built for animals. And if you have entered a forest that means you are an intruder that means you are an intruder you have intruded over there you have entered over there forcefully and nowadays people used to carry cameras mobile phones each and everywhere in order to click the pictures of wonderful appearances of the you know forest animals but that actually irritates, you know, the animals. That actually irritates the animals. The very click, you know, the very sound of clicking pictures, that is so irritating to them. Hmm? The very uh, clicking sounds of cameras, your cacophony, your noise, you're talking to someone else. These are very much irritating to the animals. They will never ever come out in front of you. Understood? So in that extreme silence, a peacock can come in front of you and here the poet has understood has felt that a blue shadow is over there all of a sudden uh, over there over herself over her book that means the very blue shadow is of whom definitely is of the peacock 
okay and when the peacock comes then the whole nature uh, will cooperate with the viewer if you are with patience waiting to behold wonderful appearance of the forest animals the whole you know weather nature will cooperate with you the wind will change its direction if it moves first <coughs> excuse me then it stops moving so fast okay even the very steady hum of bees that means the very noise that the bees used to make around the bee hives that also will be all silent okay the cat will awaken and stretch something has broken your attention that if you and if you look up in time you might see the peacock turning away as he gathers his tail to shut those dark glowing eyes violet fringed with golden amber it is the tail that has to blink for eyes that are always open so here you can see what is written over here there actually the poet has brought a very comparison in between a cat and a peacock what a cat does what does a cat do the cat well all the activities of cats most of the activities of cats used to be over there made to get attention from human beings we all know that cats are the attention seekers isn't that just like that peacocks also sometimes do such things and if you are that much lucky if you are just that much attentive okay you can see the peacock because all of a sudden the peacock can change its direction and it actually depends on his mood understood understood a peacock always demands your attention but he will not give you that much time okay so these are the very uh, you can see the features of our bodily uh, appearance of our you know you can say the uh, physical appearances like you see violet fringed with golden amber glowing eyes these are the very wonderful dumb struck spell bounding bodily features of a peacock okay and here just within a blink within a very time period that you blink within a very time period of your blink of of blinking eyes during that particular moment only a peacock can be disappeared a peacock is always present to those whose eyes are always open understood a peacock is always present to those whose eyes are always open who does not blink and it is not possible it is not possible it is written it is not possible we all know that isn't it okay so if you are very much eager to see peacock if you are very much eager to confront a peacock you may go to some forest some prescribed forests are over there mentioned forests are over there you can go you can take your mobile phones you can take your cameras but always be careful about its sounds you should not make noise you should be all silent your appearance should be hidden then a peacock may come out in front of you okay without the very fear that yes a human being has come inside the forest and he or she can harm me if a peacock or if any animal will be without such fear then he or she or they may appear in front of your eyes so over here i have once again discussed the very theme of the poem the very theme of the poem is the very nature the beauty the strength that a nature shows manifests demonstrates or mirrors and what is the very hidden message that you can get from this particular poem what is the very metaphoric meaning that can come as a question as well that is sujata vart the poet actually wants to say that silence is very much needed if you want to hold the beauty of forest if you want to confront the very beauty of forest then be silent don't irritate the animals because they don't come inside your society and irritate you then who, who has given you the very right to enter a forest and irritate them in such a brutal way so be silent and get the appearance of the animals 
understood i guess in this video it is very much clear to everyone the very theme of the poem the very analysis of the poem i think just after listening to this description you will be able to write to create answers by yourselves okay now let us discuss about the probable questions which may come in your examinations and the way i have described over there if you have followed the way properly you will be definitely able to answer any question i have already given you a very idea of mother answer what is called a mother answer that i have given you probably in the very third video of uh, you know the gift of india isn't that so go for that and uh, try to create your own mother answer okay so now let us move to the very part where a few questions are mentioned which may come in your examination okay okay so here uh, comes the very <clears throat> a list of the probable question answers the first one is discuss the theme of the poem that may come as a broad question that i have just discussed with you let us come to the second question that is comment on the lines that make you visualize the colorful image of the peacock so, so there you can talk about a flash of you know trancoise that that particular uh, you know phrase a flash of trancoise Okay, tranquise means I guess you know that is a greenish blue or a kind of you know uh, uh, bluish green type of color. Okay, that a peacock has. Second a uh, phrase that you can take that is uh, let me just look at the poem once again. Yes, the very slender neck, the slender neck, the very thin neck that is also a wonderful body you know uh, feature bodily feature that you can. Uh, mention over here within your answer then you can talk about uh, that is a blue shadow a blue shadow that comes over that is written somewhere comes over me so here the blue shadow is definitely about the peacock and you can talk about uh, yes the very last part those dark glowing eyes violet fringed with golden amber these are also the very bodily features of peacock so these particular phrases or lines you can take from the book or from the poem and do not at all forget to put the double inverted comma double inverted comma as you are quoting the very speech of a poet that is why okay always use the you know quotations write the quotations within double inverted comma otherwise your marks will be deducted brutally i am giving you warnings okay so these particular phrases or lines you can use in your answer in order to mention or show or write the very visualization of colorful image of the peacock okay and at the very beginning just start with uh, with such lines that the peacock written by sujata what is a wonderful manifestation of nature and the natural beauties um demonstrated by uh, the national bird of india the peacock okay just like that start the answer and then one after another one after another use or write these phrases or lines okay and write two or three explanatory lines as well okay now see uh, the next question what are the cues that signal the presence of the peacock in the vicinity right at the very beginning you can talk about uh the peacock's you know bodily features slender neck and when he descends and the very glimpse of his tail when a, when he notices or even he can understand that a person is uh noticing him okay then go to the uh, shadow blue shadow okay and then you may uh come to the very part that i have just told you about the very changes of direction okay when the wind changes very sorry here out the weather is actually not well and i am over here talking about the weather only the very nature only but outside it is raining so heavily and the thunderstorm that you can the very sound of the thunderstorm that you can hear it is happening but uh, sitting inside that particular weather as well i am making videos and i am because why because this is my one of my favorite jobs okay let's start i am getting distracted a bit fine where i was uh yes about the very uh, you know uh, wind when the wind also changes its direction and yes about the hums of the bees steady hum of the bees these are the very cues signals that the nature gives you each and every time when a peacock is around you all of a sudden everything gets stopped understood 
you can write about that i have just described uh, discussed about the very theme of the poem uh, precisely that is why i am expecting that you people can write the answers by yourselves uh, you can even post your answers uh, in my comment box okay i will definitely try to read those answers and definitely will comment you as well mm, so you are you are free to post your answers in my comment box as well okay okay come to the next point how has the connection drawn between the tail and the eyes at the description in detail okay uh, you know uh, a peacock used to spread his uh, tail in the during the monsoon when the peacock is uh, in her, in his uh, in his mood actually okay when a peacock is in his pleasant mood that time a peacock spreads his tail and dances that we all know some of us also have seen the very beauty the divine beauty there is a connection in between a tail and the eyes how because within a blinking of your eyes the peacock can even contract its tail okay the peacock can spread its tail and within the very blinking of your eyes the peacock can even contract its tail and when the peacock is contracting its tail it is having a very uh, you know shape of an eye to some extent understood so quote those lines which are related to tail and eyes and write down this particular uh, analysis hmm? you can write in this way you can write something uh, uh, you know which is written previously and something which is written after this description and then make an answer okay now come to the next question how does the poem capture the elusive nature of the peacock elusive means what rarely seen a peacock is rarely seen it is written right at the very beginning of the poem you can go for the very first part of the poem as well where it is written that it's uh, his voice can be hard but he is very much uh, rare to be seen it is very much difficult to behold a peacock okay that particular part and when he understands that someone is noticing it descends so fast that particular part and one another particular part is over there when it you know when he actually very sorry that i am using the pronoun it when he contracts its tail within a very glimpse of your eyes um the peak the peacock contracts its tail and the peacock contract you know spread his tail the peacock contracts his tail the peacock spread uh, his tail so within the very glimpse of your eyes within the very glimpse of your eyes the peacock can be disappeared as well but if you are enough attentive if you are having that particular patience you will be able to see the peacock and the peacocks are always available to those whose eyes are always open understood that is the very thing whose eyes are always open so it is very difficult to open your eyes all the time without blinking isn't it it is even not possible so through this particular description only one can understand that the poet wants to show or wants to tell how much you uh, know how how much difficult uh, it is to see or to behold a peacock in front of your eyes understood now come to the last question the peacock is a colorful bird how does the poem capture the various colors that its plumage displays so here you can see uh there are a lot of you know examples or instances written throughout the entire poem you can go for that yes so in order to answer the very last question that is question number 6 we can go to this particular poem again uh here you see a few instances which are written many instances are over there which manifests the very diversity in a peacock's bodily feature you see here this this part a flash of tranquoise this you can write then you can write about you know the blue shadow that is that is that is here a blue shadow that you can write then you can write about um Mm, uh, dark glowing eyes, violet fringed with golden amber. Here you can see a lot of colors. About a lot of colors the poet has written. So these uh, particular lines or phrases you can quote and do not at all. I'm repeating. Do not at all forget to use double inverted comma. Otherwise. whatever effort you are putting whatever you are effort you are giving over here in making your answers and all will go in vain completely understood so here i am completing the very question answer discussion uh, video uh, how have you felt through these videos these videos are at all helpful or not please 
comment below and you can even post your answers in the comment box you can even discuss with each other the answers in your comment box uh, i will definitely help you out in making the answers or in creating the answers don't worry about it and if if somewhere you are not understanding the answers properly or the very theme properly or the very analysis properly then definitely comment below as well okay so do respond <laughs> if you do respond i will be motivated as well okay so here i am completing the video next video will come very soon uh, be updated and keep an eye so bye take care Thank you.